What's up guys and welcome back to another really quick mission edit tutorial. Okay, so in previous videos we've gone through how we can get units spawning in different ways. However, I like to think that it doesn't look so great when you're at an airfield and two Apaches or whatever aircraft that might be just magically appear on the ramp and start up. So what we're going to do this time is going to have a look into the uncontrolled AI. Basically what that means is we can place them at mission start and they'll appear at mission start but they won't start their engines and go and do their objective until they're triggered to. So the way we're going to do that, really, really simple, is we're going to place whatever aircraft we want on the uh, on the map. So we're going to use a pair of F-16s for this, I think. Block 52, why not? And we'll place him down wherever the hell it doesn't really matter. Okay, so we'll put start from ramp. This is massively important. They need to be selected as takeoff from ramp. And then you'll see the uncontrolled box appear. So before we do that, we'll select him and give him a couple of weapons. Two. About the um, paint skin, but we're going to call him F16 just to make things easier in a minute so we can identify him quite easily. And we'll give him a wingman. There we go. Okay, so now the important part is this is a bit more difficult than anything we've done so far just because it goes into triggers a little bit more. So, what we need to do is we need to create a triggered action. So, first thing we're going to do is we're going to create uncontrolled. So, we're going to tick that, and that means they'll be there for a mission start, but they won't have any pilots in and they won't start their engines until they're triggered. So he's uncontrolled, so we'll be there at mission start. So now we need to go down to this box here and we're going to select triggered actions, which is this little four circle meeting in the middle thingy. And we're going to press add. So this is creating a triggered action. So what we want to do is we want to select uh, perform command and we're going to scroll down until we see start. And we're going to select start, make sure it says t enable task, and then we're going to click off. What we will quickly do is just give them a couple of waypoints. So I'll actually start up and go somewhere. So start a waypoint, the the the. So now they'll actually, you know, once they're triggered, they'll start up and they'll actually do something. Okay, so we've ticked uncontrolled. If we go back into triggered actions, we've got that selected there. So what we can do now is we go into our rules and we're going to create the actual trigger to start the uh, the vehicle up. So we're going to have this as once and we're going to call it start F16, not F61, F16. And we're going to create uh, the condition. So for this one, we're going to do it after a certain time limit. And the time limit, once again, is in reference to mission start. So it's in seconds, but from the start of the mission. So we're going to have it as 90 seconds. So 90 seconds after mission start, these guys should pack their engines in. So now we need to set the action. And it will always default to AI task push, which is perfect, because that's exactly what we want. So AI task push and the AI action is going to be F16 start, which means this trigger will now, after 90 seconds from the mission start, start the... Uh, F16 so it will make them active effectively so up until the 90 second point they'll just effectively look like static scenery on the map but it means that instead of having them appear out of nowhere in 90 seconds they're actually going to be there all along so it'll look like they're actually you know they've got in their aircraft and they're taxiing sort of more realistic as such okay so that's that one so what we're going to do now is we're going to show you another way of doing that as well so this is going to be one a um, when one of our friendly aircraft enter a trigger zone so we're going to tie in one of the previous um, tutorials that we've done. So for this what I'm going to do is I'm going to call this group Harrier. Harriet, Harrier. And we're going to set him as an AV8B. We're going to have him take off from the runway. We're just going to add a couple of waypoints. Set him two. Once he reaches waypoint one, we'll just give him a couple more so he you know doesn't stay in the same place add a trigger zone around his first waypoint I'm going to call it start and we just color it blue because why not so now what we want to do is we want to set another pair of aircraft up which will basically be triggered when the Harrier enters its waypoint or its trigger zone what I'm going to use for this is I'm going to use a pair of Apache helicopters I think I normally use in a lot of missions if I'm on um, if I'm doing some JTAC stuff or I'm doing you know ground control normally are you sometimes get that instance where the friendly aircraft will have to bug off to the tanker or they have to go out and back and rearm refuel at which point my call signs on the ground might get in a little, a little bit of trouble so it means that i can have a pair of you know apaches fully loaded and effectively start them if i need them in way of some, you know like the radio menu but it means if i don't use them they're just going to stay on the tarmac where they were and it looks pretty nice for the guys flying it puts things in the airfield it means the airfield's now populated as opposed to just them taxiing off and a couple of tankers 
So once again, we're going to just give him some weapons. Uh, we'll give him a wingman. Starting from the ramp as always. And remember, we need to tick uncontrolled. And then the process is exactly the same. So we're going to trigger actions, add an action, perform command, and it will be start. And then that's that. So what we will do is once again, we'll just give him a waypoint. Then it's up over there somewhere. And then we can actually go back into the triggers and set the the actual trigger. So once again, we're going to have a, a new trigger, which is going to be once, not two. Let's delete that one. And this will be AH start, just so we know. So if we're editing the mission in the future, we can see what trigger does what. So this one is, it's not going to be a time more. This is going to be when the Harrier reaches its trigger zone. So what we're going to use is we're going to use part of grouping zone. We can use all of grouping zone which would work fine for this because there's only one Harrier. However, if you've got a, you know, a flight of four enemy air, uh, friendly aircraft that you, that you want to use as a trigger, what happens if two of them get shot down? But I normally always tend to go with part of grouping zone because it means if only one aircraft make it in, into that zone and the others fly around it, then it's still going to trigger it. So the group we want is going to be Harrier and the, the trigger zone is the only one we've got. So start. Got a random trigger zone. Okay, let's delete that one. And let's just re-edit, just create that again, because for some reason I had a, another trigger zone. So we'll call that one start. Once again, part of grouping zone. Area will be the group and trigger zone will be start. At that point, AI push task once again, and it will be AH-64 start. So it will start the helicopters at that point. And it really is as simple as that. So now we've got two, diff uh, two different groups which will be static on the ground with no pilots in up until the point where they're meant to start and then the pilots will magically appear in the cockpit and they'll actually start conducting their waypoints. So even if you've gone really, really in-depth, let's, let's start the mission while we're talking through this. Even if you've gone really in-depth with the AI and they're set to bomb certain locations, they're set to you know provide cap or you know something along those lines they will do that as soon as they're started so you can set all their waypoints as intricately as you as you want and they will do that after they've been tasked to start so after they perform the actual start what we're going to do now is we're waiting 90 seconds for these uh, f-16 so as we can see they're on the tarmac harry is taken off and we got our two apaches the obvious thing to note is none of them have got pilots or the apaches pilots or gunners whatever you want to call them so now we're waiting 90 seconds, so what we'll do is we'll sp uh, speed the time up a little bit. Just to get to that 90 seconds nice and quick. The telltale point that they're actually starting up means the basically you'll see the pilots on the inside. There you go. So the pilots are on the inside now. And yep, they'll begin to start up. So what we'll do now is we'll switch to the Apaches. We'll have a look where the Harry's got to, so he's not far off. So that's where his waypoint is. So we go back to them, and in the background what we will see is the F-16s taxi off in a minute. So once again I'll speed the time up a little bit so we don't have a really long video. And the F-16s are taxiing off and they're going to go to their waypoints. And now the Harry has reached his waypoint, the Apache is now starting up. And they will go and do the same thing. I'll leave the time running fast, however, basically it is as simple as that. So we've got two separate ways we can have aircraft start up and begin their task, however, being on the map for the whole mission. So it just means that it looks it looks a little bit more detailed. It puts a little bit more population into your um, your airfields. And like I said, there's two separate ways there. Use them as you want. As always, please like and subscribe. I will make as many videos as, as helps anyone. You know, as long as I help one person with these videos, I'm happy. And um, yeah. watch these guys taxi off. So thanks again. As always, please, if you've got any videos you want, Put a post in the comments, give me an idea of what you're trying to achieve and I'll try and make a video to show you. So, as always, stay safe and happy, uh, happy Sunday. See you later, guys.